A rebel group Rapid Support Forces has shot down a Turkish-made Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned combat aerial vehicle operated by the Sudanese Armed Forces. Russia struck Ukraine with its Mach 11 o race Nick Murf capable ballistic missile last night. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia are in talks to convert the $2 billion of Saudi loans into a JF-17 fighter jet deal. Adani Group has forged a landmark partnership with Brazil's Embraer to manufacture regional jets in India for the first time. The Indian Army will showcase its newly inducted 300 km range Suryastra multi-caliber rocket launcher during the Army Day Parade in Jaipur on 15 January. The Indian Army has placed a 168 crore rupees order with Bangalore-based New Space Research and Technologies for its MAPS Medium Altitude Persistent Surveillance System, which is a fully electric, solar-powered unmanned aerial vehicle. The Indian Navy has confirmed it will not induct Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's light utility helicopter, stating that the platform does not meet naval qualitative requirements. India is unlikely to lease an additional INS Chakra 4 cooler class nuclear-powered attack submarine from Russia, as delays in the delivery of INS Chakra 3 has now been pushed to 2028, that has reduced the operational and training value of such arrangements. Hyderabad-based Indra Jal has secured multiple contracts worth 100 crore rupees from the Ministry of Defence, that will see the deployment of its multi-layered autonomous anti-drone systems protecting key Indian Army and Indian Navy assets. Amid China's rapid shift toward 400 km range PL-17 and PL-21 long-range air-to-air missile for hunting AWACS and aerial refuelers, military analysts have said that to avoid a future capability gap, the DRDO must begin parallel work on a new 500 km range missile like Astra Mark IV, at least at the conceptual and technology demonstrator stage. The managing director of Bharat Forge has said, that the company is in active talks with three major European defence companies, to shift parts of their production lines from Europe to India, primarily for export-oriented manufacturing. European firms are facing skilled manpower shortages and capacity constraints amid rising defence orders, making India an attractive alternative manufacturing base. The chief of DRDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has said, that the ARDE has started developing an indigenous electromagnetic rail gun for the Indian Army, powered entirely by electricity and eliminating conventional propellants. Operating at 11,000 volts, the system aims for a muzzle velocity of 2,000 meters per second. With a 50 kilograms projectile, it is expected to achieve ranges close to 200 kilometers. The project is described as one of the armament research and development establishment's most ambitious programs, with key subsystems already developed. The Indian Navy is planning to equip frontline warships with long-range maritime loitering munitions, that can be launched from ship-mounted canister launchers. Initial variants will focus on suppressing enemy radars and point defense systems using anti-radiation or infrared guidance, with later versions carrying heavier warheads for direct anti-ship attacks, that will expand naval strike reach, reduce risk to ships, and enhance overall maritime deterrence. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the technologies and industrial capabilities developed under the Naval Tejas program are now directly accelerating the TED-BF timeline. With support from Hindustan Aeronautics and the Aeronautical Development Agency, the TED-BF program is progressing toward critical design review by late 2026. Today's Top 3 Comments